This video is going to be on the last cause of erythroid hypoplasia, which is myeloptysis, or replacement of the bone marrow with something that should not be there. One cause of myeloptysis is myelitis, or inflammation of the bone marrow. This most commonly occurs with fungal infections, so systemic fungal infections, and later on in December, you'll learn about feline histoplasmosis or feline histoplasma. This is a fungal infection that can spread to the bone marrow and cause myelitis. Cancer can also efface the bone marrow and replace normal hematopoietic cells. This most often occurs with leukemia or cancer that arises from the bone marrow, but less commonly, it can be due to metastatic disease, so cancer that arose outside the bone marrow and then metastasized to the bone marrow. Myelofibrosis is when there's fibrosis or scarring of the marrow space, and oftentimes, we don't really know what incited the myelofibrosis. We often catch it late in disease where the fibrosis and the collagen is there, but we don't know what caused it. Now, going back to all of the causes of erythroid hypoplasia, all of these causes can be broken down into two broad categories. Those causes that just cause anemia without affecting neutrophils and platelets. So with these causes, you would just expect to see a non-regenerative anemia. Or... Um, causes that can affect all cell line production. So with these, you can see any combination of non-regenerative anemia, neutropenia, and thrombocytopenia. If we just see decreased production of two cell lines, we call this bicytopenia. But if all three cell lines are decreased, then we call this pancytopenia.